Welcome back to Smoke Your Ribs. I'm Russ Jones. This video is a product review. We're going to get started with it right after this. All right, now the product I'm referring to is called the meter. The meter is the world's first totally wireless smart thermometer. Now, let me show you real quickly. I mean, this is it in a nutshell. This wood box here is actually the charger for it. If you look back here, it's got one AA battery and the meter stays in this all the time. That way when you grab it, it's ready to use. The second you take it out, it goes active, it goes hot. Now, I'm gonna take you over here on my phone, I'm gonna show you the other half of how this thing works. All right, now the first thing you have to do, and this goes with the meter, is a phone app. It's Bluetooth enabled, it can also be Wi-Fi, and also cloud enabled, which means that you can literally be anywhere in the world with an internet connection and read the temperature from this probe. Now, we're doing Bluetooth to begin with, we're going to open our app, and as you can see, we are not connected. We're still docked in the battery charger. I'm going to simply take the thermometer out of its dock. Boom, we're connected. Get this out of the way. And I'm not reading ambient temperature right now because it's outside. It's reading the same thing as the internal. Now I'm going to keep my finger on this probe, and I'm going to warm it up a bit to where we can also read ambient. Now, while I'm waiting on that to come up, I'm going to start cook. Now, later today, after this video, I'm shooting another video using this for the first time. It's going to be steak. So, we're going to click on steak. They got it preset at 145. That's too done for me. So, we're going medium rare, 135. And then we're going to start cook. Okay. Now, we're reading our ambient temperature as well as our internal temperature. It took my hand warming that up, otherwise it's just going to not go out because the temperature would match this right here. Now, this is giving you an estimated cook time. It also takes in consideration carryover heat. Very smart device, very smart app. Now, my biggest concern with this was how would this thing do inside of my insulated mini? The insulated mini has two layers, two walls with two inches of insulation. The walls are a quarter inch thick for a total thickness of one half inch solid steel. So let's walk over here, let's put it in the mini for the first time, and let's see <laughs> if we're going to be able to read this through Bluetooth. So like I said, this was the only cooker I had a concern with as to whether this wireless device would work in here. So I normally cook around the middle here. We're going to place it, we're just going to lay it right in here. Now I'm still currently reading the ambient temperature because I had my hand on that. And as you can see, it's already starting to go down. It just went from 82 to 81. Now I am reading here. Let's take a little walk across the yard and see just how far I can go before I lose signal, if I lose signal. It's supposed to be a 35 foot range with uh, Bluetooth. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm walking across. We're just now leaving the cooker. And I'm hoping you see that without too much glare on it. We're just walking across the yard that ambient temperature is steadily dropping from 75 to 74. Once it hits 64, it'll flatline again, just like it did earlier. Okay, I have already went probably a good 25 feet. I'm just about to the end of my yard and now going into the neighbor's yard. I'm beyond 35 feet. All right, let's just keep going here. All right, just lost our ambient, just completely normal. We are still connected. All right, let me look back and see how far. Oh, we're a good 55, about 50, 55 feet. And I'm still reading through the insulated mini. 
unreal. All right, I'm gonna stop here. I will have no issues with uh, doing this on Bluetooth, none whatsoever. We're gonna talk about here in a few minutes about a bridge that you can build to extend your range even further to like the tune of a hundred and I'll have to look and see, but I'll show you that and talk about it here in just a moment. All right, now this is my wife's iPad and as you can see, she has dropped this thing, I don't know how many times, still working, but we're going to open up our uh, app here on the iPhone and then we're going to open up the app that's already be, been pre-installed. The only thing about it, both of these have to be on the same network, my home network, which they are open this up and boom there we are this little icon right here that shows you that all three devices are connected together now what we have we have Wi-Fi capability and we have extended our range dramatically so we have went roughly 35 feet to 165 feet as far as the Wi-Fi now something else that I mentioned earlier, I think I mentioned it. Let me open that back up, go to settings. And this also is cloud enabled and I have it enabled, enable meter cloud. And what this does, it works on the Wi-Fi, but it sends the information to a cloud and back down to this phone app, anywhere in the world that you can receive an internet connection, you can monitor this probe. Very, very smart. So when you're done using the meter, you simply put it back in its battery charger and you leave it there. You can't overcharge it. It will be ready until the next time you need it. The only thing you will have to do periodically is change out the single AA battery. So all in all, this is a very cool device, but there's a better one coming real soon. It's already available for uh, pre-order and that is the meter block. The meter block is a much bigger block and it comes with four probes, which would benefit me a lot more because for big cooks, when I invite people over, I often do a couple pork butts, chicken, brisket, and I'll have the ability of four probes, plus I'll have the one with my meter I currently have, which will give me a total of five probes. So that is coming very soon, and so you know, it is completely Wi-Fi enabled. You don't need a second device for a bridge. It's all built into the unit. You don't even need an app on a phone to operate it. You can, or if you choose not to, you can use it by itself so I'm really anticipating that and I hope I'm able to do a review on that as well coming soon hope you enjoyed this review and be sure to check out my following video I'm actually going to upload this right behind this video probably six hours difference to where you'll actually see me using that thermometer for the first time on a steak so stay tuned for that until next time smoke your ribs